I'm grateful for that sunrise and that moon and for you guys. You guys are going to help me out today. I talked to a guy uh, yesterday. His name is Leroy. He's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I'm a credit union manager, so I talk to people from all around the nation that are um, going through some stuff financially as a goal consultant. Okay, So tracking with me here, uh, he uh, was in a house last May that uh, uh, ended up going into foreclosure. His mom had paid off the house, but then did a reverse mortgage on the house, then passed away. So it went into foreclosure, somebody bought the house, and he was living in the house thinking it was free and clear, not knowing that somebody uh, had bought the house and uh, he had to get out of it. Well, he fought it and fought it and fought it, and finally yesterday I get a phone call, and he's got 30 days to get out of the house. Well, in the meantime, he declared bankruptcy, which means that he was trying to protect the asset, but the asset wasn't his. So it was bad advice, and so now he's got a really bad credit score and not a lot of income, and in 30 days he's not gonna have a house. I'm thankful Thursday, I'm thankful that I have a house and a credit score and an income. It's nice to have options that this man does not have. But you guys have a lot of resources and you know a lot of people. Privately text message me and let me know if you know of any resources this gentleman can take advantage of through the church, through the credit union um, uh, movement uh, that is for people that may or may not be homeless uh, and are uh, looking for a place to live with a dog. He's got a dog, his kid he calls him, uh, and uh, have low credit scores, low income, that kind of stuff. I did refer him to Section 8 housing, uh, but I was thinking more along the lines of like housing stipends or something like that for people that are in hardship situations. Uh, so we're in Hosea. Uh, so Hosea's right after Daniel, but it's not chronologically. So Hosea was like way before Daniel. Uh, he was actually before Hezekiah. He was two kings before Hezekiah. He was around when Elijah was around. Remember Elijah? Elijah? No, Isaiah. I get those guys mixed up. He was around when Isaiah was around. And um, so he's talking about the fall of Jerusalem. It's kind of weird when you're going through the Bible and then like uh, they're starting to talk about the fall of Jerusalem again. So Hosea is PG-13, starts off a little PG-13. And the point is God, he's got um, uh, Isaiah uh, and Jeremiah kind of preaching the same message. He's using Hosea in a specific way uh, with very blunt things that Hosea is told to do um, to give a very clear and blunt message to Jerusalem that that's how they're acting. So uh, definitely put the uh, earmuffs on the kiddos when you listen to Hosea. And uh, tomorrow, uh, there's six parts of Hosea. I've sent them all to Dougie Fresh. He's got to spin the Bible. I'm thankful for him. Uh, we'll see what he comes up with tomorrow on Hosea. Or if he picks another verse, that's fine too. Uh, we'll see you then.